Lufthansa today brings the Boeing 747-8 and the longest airliner in the world. Yeah, we're indeed proud to report today about the steepest turnaround in our history. What if I told you that while every major airline on Earth has abandoned the Boeing 747, one carrier is not only keeping theirs but actually increasing flights? While British Airways sent their queen of the skies to the scrapyard, while United parked theirs in the desert, while Delta sold theirs for spare parts, Lufthansa is doubling down. They operate 27 Boeing 747s and command 67% of all passenger 747 flights worldwide. But this isn't nostalgia talking. This isn't German stubbornness. This is one of the most calculated strategic moves in modern aviation and it's generating competitive advantages that other airlines can't replicate even if they wanted to. Why does Lufthansa refuse to let go when everyone else has given up? What do they know that American, United, and British Airways missed? And how does a 50-year-old aircraft design continue to outperform modern jets on specific missions? Today, I'm revealing the hidden economics behind Lufthansa's 747 obsession and why their strategy might be the most brilliant contrarian bet in aviation history. The Last Stand Picture Frankfurt Airport at 6 a.m. The tarmac is shrouded in morning mist, and there she is, a Lufthansa Boeing 747-8 with her distinctive hump silhouette, engines spinning up for another day of conquering the world's longest routes. This scene has become increasingly rare. In fact, you're looking at one of the last places on Earth where passenger 747s still rule the skies. The numbers are staggering. Lufthansa operates more passenger 747s than all other airlines combined, while the global 747 passenger fleet has shrunk to just four operators worldwide, Lufthansa has been increasing their flights year over year. In 2025, their 747-8s are flying 46 additional monthly flights compared to the previous year. This isn't a death rattle. It's aggressive expansion using an aircraft the rest of the world has written off. But here's what makes this story truly remarkable. Lufthansa CEO Karsten Spohr calls the 747-8 the most efficient aircraft in their entire fleet, not the most fuel efficient. That would be their A350s. Not the cheapest to operate, that's their A320, the most efficient. And when you understand why, you'll realize Lufthansa has cracked a code that escaped every other major carrier. The economics nobody else understood. The conventional wisdom was simple. Four engines burn more fuel than two engines, therefore 747s are obsolete. But conventional wisdom missed something crucial. Lufthansa didn't just buy 747s, they were the launch customer for the 747-8, and launch customers get deals that would make other airlines weep. While Boeing was asking over $400 million per aircraft at list price, Lufthansa secured their fleet of 19 Boeing 747s-8 for approximately $3.2 billion. That's roughly $160 million per aircraft. A discount so massive, it fundamentally changes the economics. Meanwhile, a new Airbus A350 costs around $350 million, and that's with volume discounts. Think about what this means. Yes, the 747-8 burns more fuel than an A350, about $10,000 to $20,000 per hour compared to $6,000 to $8,000. But Lufthansa's capital costs are so much lower that their total cost per seat is actually competitive. They're operating $160 million aircraft against competitors paying $350 million for alternatives. The fuel penalty gets overwhelmed by the capital advantage. But there's more. Lufthansa's fleet of eight Boeing 747-400s are completely paid off. Zero capital costs. These 25-year-old aircraft are pure profit generators, burning $6,240 per hour in fuel but requiring no loan payments, no lease fees, no depreciation charges. Every dollar of revenue above operating costs flows straight to the bottom line. The slot machine strategy. Have you ever tried to get a landing slot at Frankfurt Airport? It's like winning the lottery, except the lottery costs millions of dollars and happens once every few years. Frankfurt is Europe's most slot-constrained major airport, and every takeoff and landing permission is precious beyond measure. This is where Lufthansa's strategy becomes brilliant. When you have limited slots, you need maximum passengers per flight. 
A Boeing 787 carries maybe 250 passengers. An A350 might handle 300. But a Lufthansa 747-8 carries 364 passengers in their premium heavy configuration, while a 747-400 can pack in 371. That's not just more passengers. It's 15 to 20% more revenue potential per precious slot. But here's the kicker. Frankfurt Airport has specialized infrastructure that makes 747 operations more efficient than anywhere else. The Flugsteig a facility can simultaneously park eight wide-body aircraft optimized for 747 operations. Lufthansa basically has a private 747 terminal, while competitors scramble for gates that can accommodate their diverse fleets. Meanwhile, competitors operating from less constrained airports can achieve similar capacity by flying multiple smaller aircraft. But when every slot costs millions and delays cascade through your entire network, having the right aircraft for slot-restricted operations becomes a competitive superpower. The Premium Revenue Secret Step inside a Lufthansa 747-8 and you'll discover why fuel costs become irrelevant. The aircraft doesn't just carry 364 passengers. It carries eight first-class suites and 80 business-class seats. That's 88 premium passengers paying exponentially higher fares than economy travelers. A first-class passenger from Frankfurt to New York might pay $8,000 for a seat that costs the same to operate as a $400 economy seat. Business-class passengers pay $3,000 to $4,000 for seats that require the same fuel as $600 economy tickets. The math is inescapable. Premium passengers subsidize the entire flight operation. The 747's unique architecture creates premium experiences competitors can't match. The upper deck business class offers an exclusive, quiet environment that feels like a private jet. First class passengers enjoy suite level privacy and space that smaller aircraft simply cannot accommodate. Lufthansa charges premium prices because they provide premium value that exists nowhere else. Consider Lufthansa's Frankfurt to Washington DC route. The 747-8 carries 364 passengers, but the revenue split might be 40% premium, 60% economy. Those 146 premium passengers could generate 60 to 70% of total flight revenue. Remove the premium capability and the route becomes unprofitable instantly. The maintenance empire. While competitors worried about maintaining orphaned aircraft, Lufthansa was building a 747 maintenance empire. Lufthansa Technik operates across facilities in Germany, Malta, Hungary, Philippines, and China, serving over 800 customers worldwide. They didn't just maintain their own 747s, they became the global experts. This creates economies of scale that transform supposed weaknesses into strengths. When parts become scarce for discontinued aircraft, Lufthansa Technik manufactures them. When other carriers need specialized 747 expertise, they come to Lufthansa. The maintenance operation that should be a cost center becomes a profit center. But the real advantage is operational reliability. Lufthansa's 747s achieve dispatch rates comparable to aircraft half their age because Lufthansa Technik knows these planes better than Boeing knows them. They've operated 747s for over 50 years, accumulating institutional knowledge that money can't buy and competitors can't replicate. When a British Airways 747 broke down in the 2010s, they paid premium rates for maintenance from external providers. When a Lufthansa 747 needs service, it goes to their own facilities where they control costs, timing, and quality. This operational advantage compounds over time, making Lufthansa's 747s more reliable and less expensive to operate than competitors ever achieved. The routes nobody else can serve. Lufthansa deploys their 747s like precision instruments, targeting routes where the aircraft's unique capabilities create unassailable advantages. Frankfurt to Sao Paulo, Frankfurt to Singapore, Frankfurt to Buenos Aires. These aren't just long routes, they're routes requiring specific combinations of range, capacity, and premium service that smaller aircraft can't match. Take Frankfurt to Buenos Aires. 7,133 miles of pure long-haul flying over 13-plus hours. An A350 could technically make this route, but with reduced payload and tighter economics. The 747-8 operates it profitably with full passenger loads and substantial cargo in the belly. Lufthansa doesn't just connect these cities, they dominate them. The strategic route deployment creates competitive modes. 
When you're the only airline offering non-stop service between major city pairs, you can command premium pricing. Passengers pay extra to avoid connections, while cargo customers value the direct routing. Lufthansa's 747s don't just transport people, they control critical aviation corridors. But perhaps most cleverly, Lufthansa uses their dual 747 fleet strategically. The older 747-400s serve high-volume, lower-premium routes like Frankfurt to Bengaluru, maximizing capacity on price-sensitive markets. The newer 747-8s target premium heavy routes like Frankfurt to Chicago, where business and first-class demand justifies the superior cabin products. What the competitors got wrong British Airways retired 31 Boeing 747-400 in 2020, accelerating retirement plans due to COVID-19. Their justification? Achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050 through more fuel-efficient aircraft. But they missed the fundamental economics. Fuel efficiency means nothing if you can't fill the seats or command premium pricing. United Airlines ended 747 operations in 2017 as part of shifting from hub and spoke to point to point strategies. They prioritized domestic focus over international capacity, fundamentally changing their business model to make high capacity aircraft incompatible. But by abandoning hub concentration, they lost pricing power on international routes where Lufthansa now operates with limited competition. Delta and KLM both retired their fleets by 2017 to 2020, prioritizing fuel-efficient twins over capacity density. These carriers' hubs didn't create the same slot constraints and premium revenue opportunities that make 747s economically viable. They optimized for average cases rather than specific advantages. The pattern reveals something critical. Successful 747 operations require specific conditions that most airlines don't possess. Slot-constrained hubs, premium route focus, maintenance capabilities, and network strategies optimized for high-capacity deployment. Lufthansa uniquely possesses all these advantages. The billion-dollar gamble. Here's where Lufthansa's strategy becomes truly audacious. While retiring their 747-400 by 2028, they're investing 2.5 billion euros in Allegra's cabin upgrades for their 747-8 fleet. New first-class suites, enhanced business class, revolutionary upper deck configurations. This isn't a heritage preservation project, it's a calculated investment in extended operations through the 2030s. Think about what this means. Lufthansa is betting billions that their 747-8s will remain profitable for another decade while continuing to order next-generation aircraft like A350s, 787s, and 777-9s. They're not choosing between old and new. They're optimizing a mixed fleet where each aircraft type serves specific missions. The investment reveals Lufthansa's true strategy. Maintain competitive advantages in premium markets while transitioning toward overall fleet efficiency. The 747-8s handle routes requiring maximum capacity and luxury, while newer twins serve markets where fuel efficiency trumps capacity. It's portfolio optimization rather than fleet standardization. The future of aviation's last icon. Every month, Lufthansa's 747s complete over 1,100 flights connecting continents, carrying premium passengers, and generating profits on routes other airlines have abandoned. As the likely final major passenger 747 operator, they're not preserving history. They're writing the future of how strategic focus can create sustainable competitive advantages. But this strategy faces inevitable challenges. Environmental regulations tighten annually. Fuel costs fluctuate wildly. Next-generation aircraft promise dramatic efficiency improvements. The Boeing 777-9, delayed until 2026, will eventually provide comparable capacity with superior fuel economy. Yet Lufthansa's 747's 8's average only 11.4 years old, practically infants by aviation standards. With proper maintenance and strategic deployment, these aircraft could operate profitably into the 2040s, generating returns on invested capital that newer, more expensive alternatives might struggle to match. The Strategic Lesson what makes Lufthansa's 747 strategy remarkable isn't nostalgia or German engineering pride. 
It's the recognition that competitive advantages come from optimizing specific situations rather than chasing industry averages. While competitors standardize their fleets for operational simplicity, Lufthansa built strategic differentiation around capacity optimization, premium service, and operational excellence. The lesson extends beyond aviation. Sometimes the best strategy is embracing what others abandon, provided you possess unique capabilities to extract value where competitors cannot. Lufthansa 747 succeed because they've created an ecosystem System, maintenance capabilities, route networks, hub infrastructure, premium positioning that transforms apparent disadvantages into competitive strength. The Queen's Last Stand Watch a Lufthansa 747-8 pushback from Frankfurt's gate A+. Four engines spinning up, that unmistakable profile silhouetted against the German sky. You're witnessing more than just a flight departure. You're seeing the last chapter of aviation's most iconic aircraft, written by the only airline that figured out how to make it profitable when everyone else gave up. Is this brilliant strategy or stubborn defiance? Will Lufthansa's contrarian bet pay off through the 2030s, or will rising fuel costs and environmental pressures force even the most efficient 747 operations into retirement? The answer depends on whether strategic focus and operational excellence can continue overcoming fundamental physics and economics. One thing is certain, when the last passenger 747 finally retires from commercial service, it will likely wear Lufthansa colors. And that aircraft won't be going to the scrapyard because it failed. It will retire because it succeeded beyond anyone's expectations, proving that sometimes the best way forward is refusing to let go of what others couldn't make work. Have you ever flown on a Lufthansa 747? What routes do you think benefit most from this unique aircraft's capabilities? Share your experiences in the comments below, and if you're fascinated by aviation's most counterintuitive success stories, hit that subscribe button. Because in an industry obsessed with following best practices, the most interesting victories belong to those who write their own playbook. The Queen may be nearing retirement, but her final reign is being written by pilots, engineers, and strategists who refuse to accept that newer always means better. Sometimes the most modern approach is knowing when to stay old school.